well, it's the final day of our trip to Scotland, the last day on the stags, and a look at the weather after two really appalling days of horrendous um, rain and gales. We've got glorious sunshine, and, and we're just coming out onto the hill uh, in glorious Perthshire. And uh, yeah, look at it. So it's my day today, so I'm out with my helix, and uh, we're out looking for the last stag of the season. Much of our time is spent in the great outdoors, as I'm blessed with a job that keeps me out in the fields. The majority of this time is in the lowlands of England, but as often as my busy life will let me, my passion is to hunt the higher grounds and open hills of Scotland. It's typical for Scottish red stags to be sold as a package included within a lodge rental, but with the decrease in foreign visitors, many estates now sell single stag days. This gives more opportunity at a reasonable cost without the commitment of a full week away. Oh, well, we've just been climbing for about half an hour. We've got on top of this like, little rocky outcrop. And now we can see all the glen below us. That's where we're looking for these uh, stags and hinds. And, uh, it's very windy, so we're looking in the shaded areas where they're out of the wind, where they're going to be lying, keeping out the wind. So, uh, Benjamin, the uh, stalker's just gone on a little bit around the corner to spot over it, so uh, we can quickly speak with you guys. So, uh, yeah, I think the hard work's done with regard to the climb. We are on the highest bit. Now we're just going to kind of work our way along, hopefully try and pick up some stuff. Deer, for the most part, are how I make a living. But the journey to Scotland still evokes an excitement of my earlier hunting forays and to be guided by someone who has such a knowledge of Highland deer is an absolute delight. Well, we've uh, just picked away up this rocky knoll, looked over the top and down in a little valley is a uh, hind and a calf and a young stag. That isn't what we want, but in the distance we can hear roaring, so uh, we're trying to drop below them so we don't win them or let them see us to get past them and hopefully onto a stronger stag. On a beautiful autumn day, surrounded by such incredible scenery, you forget about the stresses of everyday life and you can't help but sync with your environment. It's so nice to be sat witnessing a truly wild species going about its everyday life. With the quality optics we are using, we are still able to assess the stag at over 900 metres. And as we decide he's more than suitable, we plan our approach, which would take us more than over an hour to achieve. Yeah, he's like this. I'm, look, I'm looking at the one that's laid down in here. Maybe I'm looking at the stag that's too low. Well, we've spotted the stags um, after uh, Seeing a group of vines running away from us, and another, another group, we're presuming there's been a shot over the hill off us on another estate. It's cleared them right up to us. And uh, got two, two groups, and then a third option up and over there. So we're just deciding what we're going to do. But uh, it's uh, finally we're into them. We can actually see some. Oh, there's a stag on the skyline there. He's running, he's chasing something, haven't he? Oh, that's why he's not running, he's being chased. Look at the big lad that's chasing him, can you see? Right on the ridge. Whew. 
Well, so we spotted lots of red deer across on this face and we've, uh, for me, had a pretty good yomp across here. For Benjamin, the guide, not so much of a yomp, just like a stroll. So I'm blown a bit being an old lad. Um, and not that fit. But we're actually now in a much better position. And uh, we've got like a, um, like a ridge line in front of us. And we're hoping, uh, just the other side of it, we're hoping. I'm really hoping. So, let's see how we get on. So what's the plan then, Benjamin? We're going to go up to the skyline here and just take one last look over and a check for a backstop. We'll put the backstop is game on that. Just see the distribution of them as well. There's, there were two stags. There's, it's down to one now after a sort out. Yeah. Let's go and have a look then. Go on. It's now half three, probably half three o'clock in the afternoon. We've been out since probably half past ten. Uh, it's been a good old day and uh, this is uh, potentially our last opportunity. Uh, fingers crossed on the last day of the stag season. We have some luck. Suck on that. Sun setting, and uh, he wasn't getting up. He's really tired. He's probably been rutting hard, and um, the hinds even started to get up and walk away from him. And I thought he might get up then, 
um, to try and hold them, but he didn't. And then something's happened to the left of us that we can't see. There's been a stag, a younger stag, I think, roaring to the left of us, and he must have started to get up and uh, show a bit of interest in his girls. So he got up and um, presented a good broadside shot, and the uh, bullet's done a good job, and we're going to go up now and have a look what we've got. But what a day, what a day. I have absolutely walked my blooming feet off. Uphill and down Dale. I've shot with Benjamin before, but I've never been in this part of the estate. And um, it's beautiful, hilly ground. But um, I thought we might have one earlier in the day, but uh, we weren't lucky. And um, Heinz got moved earlier on. And uh, we found these, but we've had to really work into them. Benjamin's done an awesome job. Benj, thank you so much, mate. You've done a brilliant job. What a day. We've been here uh, three, four days up in Scotland and it's been a bit of a grafter, but uh, what a fantastic experience. And um, this one for definite is not going to be a stag up again very quickly. And we're going to go up now and have a look uh, at him a little bit closer. Awesomely awesome, look at this. As my friend Chef Pascal would say, look at this. What a fantastic stag. Well, Benjamin, my stalker's just gone further up to get some radio signal. And uh, this is the stag that we've been fortunate to take on the hill. Look at it, it is the 11 pointer. Um, Benjamin just told me that this is a, a forestry stag, really. We're out on the open hill, but all around the estate, below us uh, are blocks of forestry and uh, he's got this really nice like, orange hue to his antlers and uh, you can actually smell the pine on him but what a beautiful stag and our fortune I can just hear them just over there still another stag roaring but uh, what a great week we've had I've been really lucky with him um, Benjamin thinks he's maybe seven years old uh, but great shape to him and uh, I say I'm so pleased with what I've got so uh, absolutely brilliant. Took the bullet well and, uh, and didn't go very far before he expired but uh, absolutely fantastic trip and uh, so blessed to take this on the last day of the stag season in Scotland. Back of there, yeah. all up through here. 